Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Rakutu Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. We give double honors to our true teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. And again, Shalom. Also, Shalom to the, the one third, the hopeful elect of men, women, and children. Forever we give all the praises, forever we give all the glory. Forever we give all our strength to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. My name is Brother Ahab, and you know, on a regular basis, you know, from time to time, I do meditate on this, you know, forever grateful. Forever grateful. First and foremost, thanking our Heavenly Father and His Beloved Son, you know, to, to call us into this truth. Forever grateful, you know, for um, the Lord sending the true prophets, which is our teachers, our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. To us to learn from, you know, to be under the correct umbrella, if that's a word, you know, you know what I'm saying. Forever grateful to to learn from those those are those true prophets. It's a blessing. So we have to be forever grateful. And again, forever grateful learning, you know, with, you know, laboring with brothers week in and week out. Okay? Laboring with my beloved brothers week in and week out. And that's all the beloved brothers who are at the four corners of the earth. You know, we cannot see them in the flesh, but... You've got beloved brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, we see them via the, the internet. So it's a beautiful thing. It's a blessing through the spirit of Yahweh Basham, Yahushai Basham, Rekha Kodash to be a part of the body. Forever grateful. And we could never forget that. It's a blessing. But you know, First and foremost, it's a blessing that the Lord has woken you up, woken us up, you know, to do his job. To do his will to the best of our ability. So from time to time, on a regular basis, I'm forever grateful, you know, for our teachers Forever grateful for the brotherhood. You know? To know the, the, that you are involved in the correct doctrine of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham, Yahushai Basham, Rekak Wadash. It's a blessing. So again, forever grateful. What the Lord has done for us. Let's go to Psalm 63. Verse 1 to 5. O oh God, my power, thou art my power. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee. In a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory 
so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness, this is what I'm going to get to, I'm going to go back to that, that verse. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. This is what we must be doing, constantly praising Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Reka Kudash. Constantly meditating on how blessed we are. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Who do we know the name from? From our teachers. See, that is a blessing again. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. All the way in this low estate, we are angry, we are frustrated. How long, Lord? How long? We are still praising our Heavenly Father and his beloved son with joyful lips this is what we're doing this is what we are doing so going back to this verse in Psalm 63 verse 3 because thy loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise thee, giving all the praises and the glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekha Kudash, because thy loving kindness. And you could be, read many verses about our Heavenly Father's loving kindness, and we know there's a balance. There's an opposite to the to the, our Heavenly Father. But in terms of being forever grateful, and this is even the hell that we're going through. We have to be grateful for it, <laughs> right? We have to be forever grateful for what the Lord has put upon us. That is loving kindness also. Okay? How are you going to appreciate good if you don't exp experience the bad? You have to experience both sides. So we have to forever be grateful to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And forever grateful to the Lord setting up teachers for us to learn. And be again forever grateful to be amongst br your brethren. That you labor with. Yeah. I love all my brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Right. This is why you have to be forever grateful. You don't take this for granted. This is a this is a a, a gift, a, a prize. This is a prize from the Lord to hold on to, to cleave on to. It says cleave on to wise men. All right? So because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Kodash. So when you go into the blue letter and <clears throat> go into that word, um, let me go back to that word. Because thy loving kindness. Strong's age, 2617. Chesed. Chesed. Goodness, kindness, faithfulness, a reproach, shame. Right? Favor, good, goodness, reproach. Merciful, kindly, goodness. And 
when you think about what the Lord Yahweh Shai had done for us, we well, started from the Lord, our Heavenly Father. He sent his only begotten son. And look what Yahweh Shai did for us. All, all this is done in loving kindness and faithfulness. He says, a reproach, shame. Yeah? Look at this now, right? A reproach, shame. Let's go to the book of Hebrews 12, verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He did it for us, you know. Despising the shame. Despising the shame he went through. And it's, it's spiritual how our brother, I think it was last week, Brother, brother Uramia, he said that when they show um, films about Yahweh Shai and Masha when he's on the cross, he was naked on the cross. All right? He was naked. He was put to shame. And you know the scriptures, he mustn't uncover thy nakedness. Right? So what Yahweh Shai went through. For us. So we have to be forever grateful. We have to meditate on this from time to time. The, the, the Lord did not have to call you know, to even call upon his name. He did not have to choose you to be a blessing to call upon his name. He did not have to choose you to, for you to bow down on your knees and give him the glory. He didn't have to choose you. But he chose you. For many things. This is why we have to be forever grateful. And that's not, that's only the tip. The tip of the iceberg. That's what they say. It's saying a tip of the iceberg. There's so much things we, we have to be grateful for. You remember the miracles that Yahweh did on this earth. Is, is kind of, it's so much that it can't even be written in the book. It's so much it can't even contain. Right? There's a scripture paraphrasing. There's so much miracles he had it performed. And because of his loving kindness now, oh, I'm going to bring up a scripture in a minute. Because of his lo loving kindness, he's going to share that. Is that something to be forever grateful? Oh, man. Right? Just have to sit and meditate. Because we don't deserve nothing. Looking unto Yahweh Shaham author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand <clears throat> of the throne of who? His father, Yahweh. Forever be grateful, forever. Be grateful. Because we are drawing near to the end times and to 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 to, to even to remain even to today is a blessing. Then you have tomorrow, Lord willing. That's what I'm saying. If you live tomorrow, that's another blessing again. To do his will and and go on and on to keep on going on. Is a blessing from the Lord Yahweh Bashem Hashai. Yeah, I'm serious. You know, when I watch my apostles, right, their, their, their videos, the live stream, right, the street ministry, I just feel it. I just love. It's the love I have for them. And it starts with the how about Sham Yahushai. When I watch other videos, when I watch other from different camps, right? Saying the same thing. It's a connection. 
when you go to the highways and the byways, week in and week out, and you labor with your brothers, and you and you work with your brothers, you joy with your brothers, you feel pain with your brothers. It, it, right, and we all think the same thing. We all think alike. And it's a blessing. When brethren, you know, they come together in unity. When I say unity, not everybody can come together. Only if you're speaking the same thing, you're thinking alike, you're doing the same thing. You're helping each other. You're supporting each other. That's the blessing. It's a blessing from the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rekakwadash. Forever grateful. But look where Yahweh is. Because of his loving kindness. What he did, he was put to shame. He was put on the cross. Revelation 2 verse 25 to 29. Revelation 2 25 to 29. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Oh, so the Lord has called you. The Lord is saying, hold on. It's a blessing for the Lord to say, look at you. Just don't even think or look at you. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh, which is a blessing from the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahshai Basham Rekakwadash, that's a blessing. And keep keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of, of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hear, he that have an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, saith unto the churches, the saints. So I'm going to repeat that through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Rekakwadash, in the NLT, Revelation. 2 25 to 29 in the LLT. All right, it says, Except that you hold tightly, cleave unto this, cleave unto the apostles, right? Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Aramlab. Cleave unto these men. Because these men are the holy men of the Lord. And it goes down in order. The elder bishops come down. Except that you hold tightly to what you have until I come. To all who are victorious. And we know the elect. Who's going to be the, the victorious? The elect. Who obey me. To the very end. Ooh, he that endureth to the end. But everything is a gift from the Lord. That's why we have to be forever grateful. Every day that passes by. We have to be forever great, grateful. To them will I give authority over all the nations. They will rule the nations with a rod with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. This is this is a beautiful verse now. They will they will have the same authority I received from my father. That is imagine the Lord suffered for us. He went on a cross for us. He he he, he the things that Yahweh Shai did for us. This is why this scripture says, you know, the servant cannot be greater than his master.
what Yahweh Shai did for us. And he wants to give us what he went. He, I went through all this pain and he's not complaining. I went through all this pain. All right. In order for you to, to receive the gift that the Father has given to me. Forever be grateful. They will have the same authority I received from my Father. He didn't say like parts, okay, yeah, because I'm I'm the one. I did all the hard work. I did all the, the pain. I took the suffering. You, you, you get a part of it. No, he said the same. And who are we? Who are we? They will have the same authority I received from my father. And I will also give them the morning star. Also. So I'll give you that. I bless you with this. and Because everything the Lord does. Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Basham Bakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
to understand wisdom, knowledge and understanding. What he is saying to the churches. And the last verse here, Revelation 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. It's all about prophecy. Jacob's trouble is coming. The hour of temptation is coming. You see, we have to be forever grateful because we, we, we are hearing. This is prophecy. Our prophets, our head prophets, our teachers have been telling us about these things to come. The sea hip. Okay. Jacob's trouble. World War Three, It's coming. Okay. Blesses he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Forever be grateful, beloved brothers and sisters and children, and I talk to myself too. Forever be grateful and keep those things which are written therein. Be not here is the word, here is of the word, but be doers of it. Right? For the time is at hand. Whoa. So imagine somebody's giving you warning to like, hey, listen, just get prepared. Be ready. Be ready because that time is coming like never before. Listen, be forever grateful. Okay? Be forever grateful. There's so much things that the Lord has told us through men, through the Holy Spirit. And you say, wow, that is a blessing to know these things. Imagine everything is written for our learning for us to understand that what is to come. That's why we have to be forever grateful. And when it comes to pass now, like we've seen these prophecies come to pass, we are grateful because these scriptures are true. They do not lie. These scriptures are what? Fulfilling to the Spirit. And that's what's keeping us going. It's the, it's the, it's the Spirit that's keeping us going. The flesh, the flesh is just holding us back. Yeah, it's like a ton on us. These weights are holding us down. But if the flesh keeps on just fighting, the, the spirit just keeps on fighting. One of the best sayings Elder Apostle Taha said is that, you know, we have to, you know, and the apostles say it too. We have to learn. We have to appreciate. We have to be, you know, learn how to, 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 to suffer. We have to live to suffer. That's what we hear. This is not our rest. We have to learn to accept it. And it feels very hard. But because of our teaching. And because of the scriptures. Because of the Lord. Yahweh, because of the Holy Spirit. Let us know that. You know. This is what you have to go through. And it's not easy. It's not easy. That's why we have to beg. Lord please do not take the Holy Spirit away from us. Because that's what's keeping us going. Having the body, the apostles, having your, your brethren that you labor with, having all the brothers who are at the four corners of the earth, having the sincere sisters that are supporting the ministry. All this is, is comforting. You know, so we have to comfort one another. Yeah, comfort one another. Forever grateful. So we say Brakatha Yahawa Basham Yao Shai Basham Rakakradash. The water to Yahawa, the water to Yahawa Shai, the water to the Holy Spirit that guides us. Right? So that's all I wanted to say through the Spirit of the Yahweh Basham Yao Shai Basham Rakakradash. Revelations 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words. It's about listening to be obedient. Yeah, we fall short sometimes, of course. We make mistakes. We do messed up things. 
all right? We do wrong things. And sometimes you say, where did that come from? What the? You say, what the? Why was I thinking that? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? And it's like, where did that come from? But at least we have understanding, right? For our teachers, starting from Yahweh Basham, Yashai Basham, Rakakudash, our teachers, the brethren, all right, the counseling, the counseling. It's all a, it's all a blessing. It's a gift. So we just have to try to try our best to endure to the end. That's the key thing. It's not of ourselves to endure to the end. Support your brothers and help them in any way you can. To the best of your ability, support the, uh, our apostles, everyone. Because it's a blessing to when brethren, you know, come together. It's a blessing in all sincerity and in love, right? In love. Blessed is he that readeth and, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. The prophecy is all about prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. And going back to the, you see, everything goes back to the Lord Yahweh because of his loving kindness. All right? And if we disobedient, it's going to be a different side to it too. So we don't get it wrong. Obedience and disobedience. The Lord is a perfect balance. If you do this, this way, which I am pleased with, I will be happy and pleased. If you do the opposite, the Lord will be angry and disappointed. For the time is at hand. Do we know the time is at hand? No. We still got more to go. Do not think it's going to be an overnight thing. We know that Yahweh is at the door. But remember, it's all about the patience. Long suffering. We got a long way to go. We know that the Lord is at the door. We still have to go through the prophecies. We have to go through the prophecies. Okay? We pray that the Lord comes back tomorrow morning. <laughs> you know? We pray. But we have to go through the, the trial. Remember, through much tribulation. Through much. So, you know, brothers are always put up videos. The apostles put up videos to comfort us, you know, the trials and tribulations we go through, you know. And that's just, you know, because we know what is coming. We know what is coming. But the, 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 we are forever grateful because we know there's going to be a deliverance. And we hope and pray. We hope and pray that we are in that number. We hope and pray that we are of the elect. That's how it boils down to. And that is the biggest gift you can receive from the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekha, Kudash. To say that, yeah, you are chosen before you are born in your mother's womb, before the foundation of this earth. Yeah, hope and pray that it's edifying to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Rekha, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekha, Kudash. Just keep on watching the run, the the, the wondrous works of our Heavenly Father. Keep on watching. You're going to see divine intervention. You're going to see powers, spiritual powers. You're going to see miracles. Because it's all written. Shalom.